In a previous tutorial, we created a weather infographic in the InnoVista animator that uses a variety of animations. In this tutorial, we will export the weather infographic project as a Power BI visual. Then we will set up some sample data, load and define the visual, and then link the data so that it is a data-driven component. So let's open the animator and load the finished project. If we store the copy on the web, we can load it from there, or alternatively, we can load it from a local file. So that the visual resizes automatically in Power BI, we need to ensure that the image size is percentage based. Open the image project section on the left and then image size. If the percent option is not selected, then select from the toggle button here. Before exporting, we need to complete the information that the visual needs. This is done in the export files section found in image project. We can go there either via the export items icon on the toolbar or navigate directly in the left panel. Select the Power BI visual button to open a form dialog. This contains the information that will be required to create the visual. In name of visual, Enter a unique ID. There should be no spaces and use only alphanumeric characters. Display name is the name a user will see. Complete the version number, a description, the author name, email, and the support URL. The JIT Hub URL is optional. We need to select an icon and it must be 20 by 20 pixels. When ready, select the Create Visual button. This will add a download link for the visual, but will also place a zip on the cloud so that it can be accessed for download at a later date. I will click the current link now to download the zip. If you open up that zip file, we can see that it has created a range of files that are required for the Power BI visual. These include TypeScript, JavaScript, and JSON files in addition to support files. We can now compile the uncompressed zip file with the InnoVista compiler. If you haven't already downloaded the compiler, there is a Windows and Mac version available. Run the compiler and you will see it is very simple to use. There are basically only two options. Navigate to the uncompressed zip file folder using the Select Folder button and then click the Create Visual button. This will run the compile process which can take quite a long time. When compiled, the compiler will display the name of the visual file and the folder that contains it. The visual file name contains a long unique ID. You can rename the file but keep the file extension. Please note that when running the InnoVista compiler in Windows, if you get an error message saying that the folder does not contain the required files, you may need to run as administrator. As a data source, we will use an Excel spreadsheet in this case. The data are listed in rows with one value for each one hour. Note that for the weather type, there are a number of columns, for example, thunder, clear, etc., which contains only a 1 or a 0. These values will be sent to the weather type section, where a 1 will show the item and a 0 will keep it invisible. The mouth column defines whether the smiley will show a smile or a frown. If we want no effect, we could leave this blank. Logging into Power BI Online, for this example, we will create a new data set with a spreadsheet. Select New, then Data Set, then Files under Create New Content. Click Local File and navigate to the Excel spreadsheet. Select and in the next screen, Import. Once imported, select Create Dashboard. This will present a dashboard which uses the data we have imported. 
To drive the data for the visual, let's add a slicer, which will select the hourly data. Click on the slicer icon to add to the dashboard. Drag the time data field to the slicer field and also to the filters on the page field. Here, select required single selection, then format as required. Now we will add the visual. At the end of the visualizations, you will see a three dots icon. Click on that, then select import a visual from a file. Navigate to the visual we created in the animator and load it. It should be in a disk folder. Click on the weather icon that has been added in the visualizations to place the visual onto the dashboard. At this point, the visual will be a stock image. The list of variables that were created in the InnoVista animator should be seen below. To show the visual we created rather than a stock image, drag the relevant field to the animator variable. The visual updates every time a field is dropped onto a variable. To temporarily stop this, select the format icon and under Run Animation, move the slider to Off. Don't forget to reset this when the variables have been set up. At this point, the visual should be working as expected. The animation should rerun with new values every time we change the hour defined in the slicer. Thank you for watching this video. Please check out our other videos for more detailed tutorials on how to get the best from the animator.